Juanis, and um, we move on to our ne next presentation with a short video from the Athens Film Office and continue with the message from the mayor of Athens. Allez, allez. Allez, smile. <laughs> Dear friends, I'm proud to say that Athens has dynamically entered the entertainment industry. And yes, aspires to become one day, and why not, the European Hollywood. Now, if this sounds too ambitious, you should know that we shall not compromise with anything less. Because we want to reach this high goal. And yes, we have a vision, but we also have a concrete plan at the same time. Not wishful thinking, but projects. Not general ideas, but concrete actions. And the Athens Film Office, the newly found Athens Film Office, is the ideal tool. It is an instrument that contributes to the attraction of international productions. Filming in Athens has exponential benefits for the city. What are the gains, you may wonder, what are the gains for the city of Athens? First of all, the support of all the professionals involved professionals who are based in the city of Athens. They benefit either directly through their participation in production, and I'm thinking of hotels, of shops, of restaurants, of car rental agencies, or indirectly through the promotion of the city around the world. Secondly, the employment of dozens and dozens of people, dozens and dozens of people in services, but also of hundreds and hundreds of people in production. Please allow me to bore you a little bit with some numbers. According to a relevant study by EOV, that is the Greek Foundation for Economic and Industrial Research, the direct contribution of these productions to the economy, uh, and I'm referring to cinema, television, or advertising, has been 108 million euros so far. The overall effect on GDP has been 686 million euros, supporting more than 12,000 jobs. Yep, 12,000 jobs. Especially as far as international productions are concerned, investments of 25 million euros can maintain, during filming, more than 755 jobs in total. Now, 223 of the jobs have to do with sectors directly involved in the production increasing in turn GDP by 39 million euros at the same time. During 2020 and in the course of 2021, so far, despite, despite the pandemic, the Athens Film Office has assisted the coordination and implementation of 40 Greek and foreign productions. The most emblematic of them are Tehran, which is shown on Apple TV, the advertising campaign of Perrier and the film Greek Freak, which is actually produced by Disney, which of course relates around the life of the amazing NBA star Yanis Antetokounmpo. And in the second semester of 2021, the second season of Tehran, which is ongoing, with the one and only Glenn Close as its guest star. Jack Ryan, the TV series by Amazon of Blonde Productions, has been completed. 
Moreover, a film by David Cronenberg has been completed, produced by Aeronautes SA, and starring Viggo Mortensen, Kristen Stewart, and Lisa Du. Whereas a new film of Nina Vardalos, which is produced by Faliro House, has already been planned for 2022, at the same time, the production of a large online platform has already been scheduled. A hundred has already been scheduled for 110 days of filming in Athens, which is almost four months. We should keep in, ma in mind at the end of the day one number. Production companies have spent more than 60 million euros in services in the services market in Athens. Why is this happening? The original urban landscape, the original urban landscape is there. The sky of Attica with its unique colors, Athens with its beauties and all its contradictions, the city with this realistic, sometimes I'd say even harsh appearance, but also with its, with its inconsistencies, with its modern parts, but also with streets that seem stuck in the past, something that directors actually love, with its multicolored and coming from different periods building stock with the past but mainly with its present and I would add with its future. Because we highlight and praise the past but at the same time we also forge that future and we forge it all together. Here in Greece uh, when we speak about the future we are accustomed to referring to a period of time until the next elections. As we plan the future, however, we have to mind the next generations, the next generations of our citizens. So please allow me one more last thought. We will always have Paris, is the classic line of Humphrey Bogart in the legendary Casablanca. We want films, we want films and series that cry out, we will always have Athens. We want the productions to think about our city, your good look, wearing my future. So Athens should and ought to be in the foreground. Athens of the big and small screen, Athens of international productions and advertising. Extroverted Athens, the city of classic but everyday culture at the same time. Athens of respect, respect for individual rights respect for every person living or working in the city, regardless of color, of gender, of nationality, or regardless of any other characteristic. A city of quality, a welcoming city for the ordinary visitor and not only for the investor. A cosmopolitan Athens, a birthplace of the cinematographic world. I want to thank um, the mayor of Athens, and since um, I was not given an opportunity to introduce him, uh, I, I'd like to say a few words uh, from his CV. Uh, Kostas Bakoyanis, besides being the mayor of Athens, has served as governor of central Greece from 2014 to 19, and as mayor of Karpenisi from 2011 to 14. He's a graduate of the Milford School in UK. He has a BS from Brown University in history and international relations and has completed uh, postgraduate studies in public policy at Harvard's uh, John F. Kennedy School of Government. He also holds a PhD in political science and international relations from the University of Oxford. He has worked at the Greek Ministry of Foreign Affairs and as executive manager in the private sector in Athens. He has also held positions in the European Parliament um, in Brussels and the World Bank in Kosovo. He's a member, a council member of the European Council of, of, on Foreign Relations and a Greek Leadership Council member of the United Nations Sustainable Development Solutions Network. He has served in Greek Special Forces uh, as a paratrooper. So at this point, I'd like to thank uh, Mayor Bakoyanis again for his participation in our forum. And uh, I'd like to wish him success in his vision, as he described it to us, uh, for Athens to be a quality city for its citizens, a welcoming, vibrant, and cosmopolitan city, 
and also the birthplace of the cinematographic world.